No, no little girls, no. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. My name is Skylar. If you're new here, welcome. Happy Halloween Eve. Today I'm going to be sharing a scary murder story with you guys and I'm also going to be reacting to horrorcore rap. I used to watch a lot of Investigation Discovery Channel when I was younger and it takes a lot to spook me, honestly. This is one of the scariest stories I have ever heard and so that is why I want to share it with you guys and I also believe it has a good message because it shows the danger that young girls are in make you want to be more careful in what you do online so I'm going to be sharing with you guys the horrorcore rapper who killed his girlfriend and her family in Farmville Before we get into the story, I want to react to the horrorcore rap that is a big part of the story because it's a very disturbing genre. So I want you guys to be able to hear it for yourself so that you can understand going into the story how oddly disturbing and creepy this story is. I'm going to do the first one that looks decent and then I'm going to do the first 30 seconds of it because some of them look really cringe. My first reaction! Yay! Yay! Uh, anyway, uh, let's get on with the show. This one is by Brother Lynch Hung, Meat Lover. Cleaver, cut her in the neck, leave her, put her on the ground like a beaver, see up. Yeah, I'm coming to get her, run up and get her with a machete, they coming to get her without the liver. Nigga, with a meat cleaver, leaving the street bleeding, he been a heat seeker, nigga, I speak ether, he about to leak feces, wiping up the streets with a get him, hurt. Reminiscing of Waco, take hoes, and put them in the box, they made toes, I hate them, cook them in Crisco and I fillet them and ate them, fillet them and ate them, make them potatoes, hot tie, sticking the fork in a hot body, hitting the porch like a box robbery, not sorry, I'm a nigga hotter than hot coffee, nigga, shitting with no body, mommy. Alright, we're gonna try another one because I have nothing to say except for like I'm disturbed. But we're gonna do a little bit of this girl's really quick. My this one is Deviant Horror Six Feet Deep. Starts off better. I didn't have to skip to half the video. So getting into the video, that is the kind of music that these two teens were obsessed with and that's the kind of music that connected their relationship from the beginning. So the two main people in this story are Sam McCroskey and Emma Niederbrook. Now Emma Niederbrook was 16 years old and Sam McCroskey was 21. They met on MySpace and they began talking and he was actually an aspiring horrorcore rapper himself. I don't have any of his personal music to show you guys, but I'll show you a picture of him and you know what the music sounds like. You could put the two to two together and probably assume how disturbing and how cringy he as an artist was. This girl was 16, a cute young girl, you know, really sad. So these two would build a relationship, they would start talking online and they would talk for an entire year before they met. They would finally get to meet a year later because her parents decided that they were going to take her, take her and her friend 
to meet him and go to a music festival for horrorcore rap in Michigan. I don't know the details of the relationship, but basically when they met, things went down. He wasn't very happy with the relationship. He wanted a serious, like exclusive relationship. He wanted it to be more than it was, or she wasn't living up to his exact standards. So they go to the music festival and the relationship is already on the rocks. They get back to the house and he's staying with her, the parents. So it's the mom and her daughter and her friend and now her daughter's new boyfriend. Well, a few days after returning, at 3 a.m. he was already drinking, smoking marijuana, he had took painkillers and he goes upstairs. He takes a wood splitting maul, kills his girlfriend's best friend first. Next he kills his girlfriend's Emma Niderbrook's mother. Only then did he turn the murder weapon, which is a wood splitting maul, onto his girlfriend Emma Niderbrook. So yeah, this guy who met his girlfriend for over a year, talked to her for over an entire year, met up with her at a music festival within a week, took a wood splitting maul and killed her her best friend and her mother chopped all their fucking heads off like in their in their sleep and it gets worse and then he continues to stay at the house contemplating what he's going to do with his life he stays at the house for a few days he like records a suicide video he that he's planning to do something with and then he decides that he's going to fly back before he can fly back though Emma Niederbrook's dad decides to come home and when he walks in, he also gets his head split off. Yeah. So I think the moral of this story is one. Anyone who listens to that kind of rap, like, I don't want to offend anybody, but I'm going to say the majority of people if you listen to that kind of music you probably have a problem i get some people it is a, it's an art and it's a, it's like an expression and i'm sure that there are people normal people who would never kill anybody who like horrorcore and who make horrorcore music i'm not hating on the whole entire genre it's a little bit disturbing for my own taste but yeah one you really can't trust anyone you meet online because a whole year of talking to somebody you're around your age just to get your you your best friend and your mom's head and your dad's heads all chopped off little girls no and I remember this story being so scary because I watched it at the first time when I was like young and I when I was younger, like 12 years old, I used to talk to a lot of boys online because as you guys know, I used to live in hotel rooms if you watch my adoption story. And so it's really creepy because I know I'm not the only young girl that used to talk to boys online. And that's really, really creepy. So creepy. No, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys learned something. One, you learned a new kind of music probably, unless you were already into that. <laughs> and you also learned that you should absolutely not trust anyone online because you could talk for a whole year and then get you, your mother, and your best friends and your father's heads all chopped off. Like, time means nothing. Like, ah, oh, that's so creepy. That's just so creepy. <sighs> that's like one of the creepiest stories I've ever heard really unsettling I feel like it's just like that stuff happens no meet people naturally also white men that look like that or who also listen to that kind of music are pro probably a red flag probably a no no little girls no you will meet somebody naturally you are young you have so much life to experience do not go get yourself murdered 
bitches? No. Uh, all right. Thank you guys for watching. I'm going to link a link to the article and to the two music videos that I reacted to down below. I'm just still shook. I'm still shook. It's so creepy. But I hope everyone is staying safe and healthy. And I hope you guys all have a great Halloween. So I will see you guys next time. Bye.